Welcome to the Clap Back with Julia Roginski, where we take Twitter back from the trolls and we also call them out. So enter our president. Speaking of trolls, who tweeted the following after the terror in London quote, at least seven dead and 48 wounded in terror attack, and mayor of London says there is quote, no reason to be alarmed. To which I responded, if Tony Blair had trolled Rudy Giuliani on September 12, 2001, we would have rightly been appalled. Because, you know, when somebody suffers a devastating attack, as London did, the last thing they need is the president or the leader of a foreign nation trolling them about what he thinks they did wrong, which is insane. I mean, could you imagine on September 12th, Prime Minister Tony Blair of the United Kingdom trolling Rudy Giuliani and saying, well, you know, you're saying there's nothing to be alarmed about, or you're saying, oh, you know, whatever you're saying, and you're wrong, and let me give you my two cents as the leader, leader of a foreign country. We would have been complaining about sovereignty. We would have been complaining about diplomacy. And by the way, Tony Blair would never have done that. Nobody would ever have done that until Donald Trump showed up in the scene. But then people on Twitter have been criticizing the mayor of London's response to these attacks on my feed. For example, the mayor said that extra police presence was nothing to be alarmed about. Well, a Reverend Lou, who's a good guy, usually tweeted, quote, what Khan said was pretty stupid killer. And then legend tweeted, not just stupid, hashtag galactically stupid. What would Churchill do? So I responded, quote, Churchill would say, keep calm and carry on, which is essentially what the mayor of London said. Look, here's what the mayor of London said. Let me read you the actual quote. Londoners will see an increased police presence today and over the course of the next few days. There's no reason to be alarmed. That is what a leader says to keep calm in a city as a police investigation is going on, as a counterintelligence investigation is going on. The last thing you want is for people to think that the extra police that they see, especially those that may be carrying weapons, which if you know, London Bobbies or their police force typically does not do, is something that of course people might be alarmed about if they see police suddenly carrying weapons that they never have in the past. So the mayor tells them not to be alarmed about it. That's what leadership is all about. Leadership is not trolling the mayor in a foreign city in a foreign country. And I wish Donald Trump would stop doing that, but you know, unfortunately, he did it yesterday. He did it again this morning. I have to believe the President of the United States must, must have something better to do. There's got to be some pressing issue that he's got to deal with that doesn't require him to troll people on Twitter, especially when he has no business sticking his nose into something that's going on in a foreign country. If he wants to send help, if he wants to offer cooperation, if he wants to even send what I usually think are the irrelevant thoughts and prayers, any sentiment but to troll is not what leadership is all about. That's what people on Twitter do. That's what people get clapped back on the show for. I hope to never have to clap back the president again, but he keeps making it too easy. And actually, that's really sad. So to close, don't troll, don't fear monger. Stand with the people of London. Sadiq Khan, you are doing a great job in This American for One. Thanks you for your service. This is the Clapback, and I'm Julie Roginski with Fox News.